Hey, what up, guys? Coming to you this morning. I am going to do the Canelo Sergey Kovalev preview. Pretty excited about this fight. These are two of my uh, more favorite fighters in boxing, the last five, six years, especially. Um, this fight got announced for Saturday, November 2nd, in a main event of a big DAZN card. Really looking forward to it, guys. It should be a great fight. Um, you know, a lot of critics, uh, though, are talking shit about this fight, so let's jump right into it. Um, about Canelo's intention and why he's fighting Kovalev and all that crap, moving up two weight classes. You know what? Everybody needs to shut up because whatever Canelo, yes, Kovalev is weaker to the body now. You know, maybe he always was. He is an older fighter. People say he's fading. Okay, maybe he is. There's two things about Kovalev. One, the guy's still fucking good. He's still a world champion. He's still a world-class fighter. That's one. And two, Kovalev's got a big name at 175. Nobody else has taken over that division at light heavyweight. And Canelo would be stupid to not fight a, the biggest name at 175. You know, people are um, criticizing him for not moving up and fighting some of the other champions. Well, why take that risk against guys with no names right now? You know, that'd be stupid. Canelo's not dumb. He's not going to come up two fucking weight classes and fight guys that are way bigger than him, but also guys that don't have any names and aren't going to bring any money or glory to the table. You got to understand, if Canelo's going up there for glory, he wants to win. He wants to have a name on his resume. He goes up there and beats some nobody or some guy who doesn't have a big name. Are people really going to care? Is he really going to be considered great after that? So people need to shut up. I really do not like this shit talk that Canelo gets, you know? I think it's a lot of people hating on Canelo the way they hated on De La Hoya, and De La Hoya is uh, Canelo's promoter. So, you know, it's real easy. But, nah, Canelo's a great fighter. He's going for greatness, trying to win a world title in a fourth different weight class. And he's jumping up between fights from 160 to 175 with no catch weight. And I'm really impressed by that. So, yeah, there is no catch weight on this fight. He's not making Kovalev lose any weight to come down and fight him uh, between 168 and 175, which Canelo could probably get, but um, that's not happening. Uh, now, my thoughts on the fight itself. I love the matchup. You know, these are two solid-ass veterans right here. Um, Canelo's been around for a while. He's in his prime, 28, 29 years old right there middleweight world champion he's also got a belt at 168 which is super middleweight and he's moving up to fight the light heavyweight champion of the world Sergey Kovalev who is coming off of a tough uh, a tough fight with uh, mandatory challenger Anthony Yard he uh, that was a great fight a few weeks ago if you guys missed it last August go back and check it out really good fight Kovalev knocked out Yard in the 11th round um, you know and Kovalev still got what it takes. He's a he's a good solid boxer and he packs a heavy ass punch. Um, Canelo's a good a good slick boxer. He can punch, but uh, and he's got a great body attack. So it's going to be interesting to see how Kovalev hold Kovalev holds up against Canelo's body attack. Um, and if you know Canelo's going to be really able to make an impact on Kovalev's body, you know people are criticizing Ko- uh, Kovalev for his losses to Andre Ward and. Um, What's his name? The guy, uh, Eli- Elider Alvarez, last year. But Ward is a world-class, pound-for-pound, all-time great fighter who broke his body down, uh, broke down Kovalev's body. And mind you, Kovalev was winning the fight, though, at the time. Kovalev was out working um, Ward, but Ward worked on the body. So, you know, not no shame losing to a guy like Andre Ward when he did. And then and there was also some controversy. Ward landed some low blows in that fight. Uh, in that round, especially, that could have been, you know, went towards why Kovalev got knocked out in that round. Um, and then the loss to Alvarez, I mean, Kovalev was winning the fight. He got caught with a, a wicked right hand. Those are the only two losses on the guy's resume. People need to cut Kovalev some fucking slack, you know? The guy is a great fighter. He's an, a Hall of Famer, really. And he deserves a lot of fucking credit. And, um, I don't think this is going to be an easy fight for Canelo. But you know what? I don't think Canelo's signing on for easy fights. He took on Danny Jacobs. He didn't have to take on Danny Jacobs. He took him on. He outworked him. He outboxed him. He outclassed him. Got a decision win. 
you know? He pushed the Triple G fight last year when they went at it. Great fight. And now he's taking on Kovalev, a really, a really, truly great fighter, a veteran. And I can't wait to see it. It's going to be good, guys. Saturday, November 2nd on um, The Zone. You guys are not going to be disappointed. If you haven't gotten The Zone yet, you're missing out. Um, you'll get the first, I believe, the first month free. After that, it's 20 bucks a month. But, guys, it's worth it. There's a lot of good-ass fights on here. They got some other content. They also got uh, baseball games and shit. If you guys want to watch games, you know, from out of state, different things like that, you can. And, um, yeah, just it's really worth the 20 bucks a month. And I highly recommend everybody get it. And you can watch it on your phone. You know, my sons play travel baseball. I've mentioned that before. I, you know, I, I'm able to watch uh, a lot of fights at my son's tournaments because, you know, I just bust out my phone and can watch it on my phone. So it's not like having to rush home and watch it on, on Showtime or HBO anymore. Or like nowadays, you got Fox Sports and stuff where you actually got to be home to watch it. Don't get me wrong. It's more convenient that way. But if you're on the move and you got other stuff going on, then, you know, it's it's a real, uh, real um, you know, it's a better convenience, in my opinion, to have the option to watch it and the zone is worth it i'm gonna keep crowing about the zone until um until they have you know i'm probably never gonna stop let's just put it that way because i think it's such a it's so worth it and you don't have to pay anything extra to watch a guy like canelo fight you get you pay the 20 bucks a month you get to see him fight and you get to see everybody else fight too that fights on the zone and there's a lot of good fighters so that's it guys um i hope you enjoyed this again i really can't wait to see it Saturday, November 2nd on zone, Canelo versus Kovalev for the WBO light heavyweight title. History's going to be made one way or the other. All right, true boxing. Been hit with the truth.